I, I grew up in a family that was not practicing any religion. And I, let's see, I declared myself an atheist mm -hmm. at an early age. Uh, let's see, we were living down in the south uh, in Atlanta. And I, the few examples I had of religion, I thought were people who weren't very well educated. So I, I thought, oh, that's just a bunch of you know, uneducated stuff. Mm -hmm. There was this cool family I used to babysit for, young and hip and smart, you know, doctor, all this stuff. Uh, and they went off to Bible studies. I thought that was kind of weird. And they invited me to go to church with them, and I did not want to go to church. Uh, and they kept inviting me, and it got kind of hard to um, keep saying no. I was, you know, you can only fake stomach aches about, you know, 12 weeks in a row, and then they finally get the <laughs> message that you really don't want to go. Um, so finally they gave up on me, and they said, well, you know, Maybe it doesn't matter so much that you go to church with us, but mm -hmm. you know, you might uh, you might think of reading the Bible. And I thought, uh, huh, you know, the Bible's this bestseller; it's this most famous book. Uh, you know, I guess you know to really properly debunk it and to be properly educated, I should read it. Right? You know, the Bible's got to be the only book which exists where there's been dozens, perhaps hundreds, perhaps thousands of scholars who at one time did not believe went to review the material so that they could debunk it and upon reviewing such material then come to profession of faith in our lord and savior savior yeshua jesus the christ the son of god the lamb of god you can't be a really educated person without having read the bible so I thought, okay, I'll just read the Bible and then I'll be done with this. They suggested that I start with Proverbs. Uh, I thought, okay, that's nice. One, um, you know, one for each day of the month. Uh, that's easy. So I started reading Proverbs, and it astonished me that it was so intelligent. Actually, I kind of thought it would be full of all these like crazy, mythical, made-up gobbledygook. But instead, there was like wisdom in every line, and it really opened my eyes that my belief that all of this was stupidity was was just not uh, not proper so read it and as I was reading uh, it started uh, changing me I have to say uh, I felt that the ideas and attitudes I had uh, needed revising uh, I actually started to believe in God but I didn't want to let anybody know <laughs> because it wasn't consistent with uh, what I wanted to be and I, so I was kind of a closet believer in God for a while. Then I thought, oh, maybe this is just manipulating me, right? So then I decided I should start reading books from other faith traditions uh, and going to visit, uh, you know, maybe not just visit a church, but visit, if I was going to visit a church, I should visit a mosque and a temple and everything else I could find. Um, and the Atlanta area had a lot of that. So I actually wound up doing a special topics class at our school. They had a special program. You could kind of do your own thing. And I was in that program. so. Uh, I did a bunch of religious studies, uh, and through this process, I went from you know, being sure there was no God to thinking, who am I to say there's no God, you know, to holy cow, I think there's not only a God, but we can, this God is revealed uh, to us through the scriptures, and then there's um, Jesus, the question of Jesus to deal with, uh, and that one took a little bit longer for me, uh, but then I have um, through, there's an extraordinary amount of evidence for the person of Christ, not just historically, but in terms of uh, the um, impact on people's lives. And so now I personally know that impact. So whenever I was in college, I was an atheist. Uh, you know, I had a, a four or five year atheist phase. We were all younger at once, right? Uh, but I remember whenever I uh, snapped out of it, read this book called Quantum Physics, Eternal Consciousness, Religion, Near-Death Experiences, The Human Soul by a fellow named William Joseph Bray. Um, but I remember uh, being led away from atheism and kind of feeling a little weird, even as eccentric as I might have been at the time, um, to, to come out Christian. You know, uh, university settings in too many places in America are just very anti-Christian. I mean, that, that's true of a lot of places in the, in the Western world and parts of the Eastern world too, I, I suppose. Um, but yeah, the anti-Christian bias that exists and the kind of the hatred that is imbued within people against uh, Christian belief, um, it's certainly unsettling. It can definitely make it very hard to come out uh, Christian. I remember reading a post recently here where uh, someone had converted to Christianity, came out as Christian uh, to, their, um, to their mother, and then their mother just put, you know, put out this big... Um, 
anti-Christian, anti-my son, oh, I hate him statement that they had posted on Reddit. It's very, um, well, unsettling to say the least, and shows those people could use a little bit more humanity.